Do you know anyone who served in the military? Let's go to Baltimore to Western High School and meet Mr. Shish. I wish everybody loved their job. What do you want to be? A teacher then. Mm, great. Um, why did you decide to become a teacher? Because of people like you. <laughs> Students is the main reason, along with the teachers I had. The teachers I had motivated me to become a teacher because they were committed to me as a student. Ara Shishmanian served his country two ways in the past three decades. He's a retired Air Force senior master sergeant. He spent 30 years in the military as an air cargo specialist. And in all those years, he also served in the classroom as a teacher in Baltimore, Maryland. I've had 37 students of mine join the military. So I can't think of a better honor than that. And I'd say if you looked at that 37, it probably, if I were to think off the top of my head, probably 10 different career fields. So that means they found their own niche. For all the major holidays, I wear my uniform. Number one, to make sure I still fit in it. <laughs> and number two, as a means to communicate and ask questions. So oftentimes, students will ask me questions like, what did it feel like to be in the military and be shot at? They didn't know what my role was. So oftentimes, I have to start with, they mortared a basis I was at. They shot at 130s I was at, but I wasn't in hand-to-hand -hand combat. And so I think oftentimes they wonder what the difference is between the war that they see on television or advertised. You know, you go to an air show and you sit in a virtual reality and you have all kinds of things you can experience, but it's not real. Uh, and I think that one of the things I offer them is a real person that's talking to them. And I think that's, that can make a real difference. His military career has also given him a life of lessons learned for his students today. I wasn't afraid to admit when I was wrong. And I think that's the mark of leadership, is one that you can see. You're willing to test the edges. You're willing to challenge yourself to go further than you've done in areas you maybe you don't want to do. And so that stretch is where the growth takes place. So I would encourage people to grow, to take risks, to, to do what they don't think they can to try. <laughs>